Good afternoon. Nice to be back with you again. I noticed just a minute ago, I noticed that we missed a little bit of pink facing on the front of our trooper's tunic. So I've just added that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to zoom out. And put this to autofocus. Not that that works very well because it doesn't. So you should now be able to see me properly. So what I'm now going to do, let's put that up a bit. Let's put this up a bit. There you go. What I am now going to do, excuse me, is highlight the pink on the trooper's jacket and I will be using 958 Vallejo pink which I hope you can see and the way I'm going to do this we're only going to give our trooper one highlight on the pink not two like we'd be doing elsewhere uh, because it's a pretty flat area, the chest is a pretty flat area, so there's no real need for two highlights. So what I'm going to do is to demonstrate this. Here is my sketch, a very poor sketch of a trooper. I don't think this trooper would get very far in battle. There you go. You can see, I hope you can see the pink on it. So the way I'm going to apply the highlight is to not go right up to the edge of everything. I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap between the edge of the highlight and the belt and the edge of the highlight and the pink. So what you'll sort of end up with I'm running this in with another pencil something akin to that because put that down a minute belts have a tendency to pull in tight so the edges of things are green slightly and the light catches it and makes it a bit darker. Um, a lot of people I know when they're painting straps and stuff they line them with black which is okay if you're happy with that. I don't particularly like that idea because you look in any um, book or even on a historical film, Waterloo or something, and you see infantry and cavalry all got straps and webbing and stuff. Do you ever see any black lines? No, not really. So that's how we're going to apply the pink. Once we've done that, we will highlight the face. We've given our base color, which was dark flesh, toned down slightly to make it even darker. What we will do now with the face, we, we will give it the first highlight which will be, now excuse me a second, I have to look for my flesh colored paints which are over here somewhere. Well I can't find my flesh tone that I was going to use. Ah, here we go. It's on the bench. It's on the bench all the time. So we had dark flesh to start with. Now we will go with sunny skin tone. 
and then highlight that again with the basic skin tone. What you could do, actually, if you just had dark flesh, is you could just mix 20% sort of white with it, so bring it up, then apply your first highlight, then mix another 20% white with it, and bring it up again, and apply that as the second highlight. But anyway, the first highlight we will do is we will paint everything on the face except the eye sockets. Take my glasses off, which are filthy dirty. The eye sockets, the mouth, little bit under the bottom lip, sort of between the chin and the lip. We will leave that. Um, I would say a little bit down there, but these figures are so small. I mean, it's a, but the eye sockets, mouth on there, we will leave as the basic base color. The rest of it will go with our first highlight. And then when we come to do the second highlight, the areas we will highlight are bridge in the nose, cheekbones, chin, and probably a bit up here, a little bit up here, and um, also probably a little bit on the ears, if you can see the ears on the figure, you, you can do a little bit on the ears. So that's how we will apply our first or second highlight on the face. I did think with this figure it was wearing gauntlets. And then I looked at it and thought, is that gauntlets or is that bare hands and big cuffs on the tunic? So I painted the hands ready for sort of bare hands. And then I looked at it again and thought, no, that is actually gauntlets. Some of these miniatures, it's hard to see sometimes what something is. I do believe now that this fellow is supposed to be wearing gauntlets. So we'll do do them as gauntlets, which will be white. So we'll just highlight the face. Looking at this figure now, probably not going to get a lot up here highlighting because of the helmet. So it's just really, second highlight, it's just really bridging on those here, here, and sort of chin. And I think I can just about see the ears on that. But anyway, that's what we'll do. We'll highlight the pink on the front of the tunic and on the tails. And then we'll highlight the face and then we'll come back. So see you in a minute. 